Hi everybody, welcome to this week's Canvas Kids. I am Miss Cindy and this week we will be painting a monkey. So this is what it's going to look like. So everybody should have their canvas with it already traced on it. And the first thing we are going to do is we're going to make some light brown color. So we need to make the light brown for in his face and his body and then in his ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a thing of white. Take a lump of white like that and add a tiny bit of brown, just a little bit at a time and make a light brown. It's up to you how dark or how light you want it, but you don't want it to be too dark because you want the face and the rest of the monkey body to be two different colors. You could also add a little bit of yellow in there to get a different color. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow up to you if you want to or not. You don't have to. I'm going to add a little bit more brown. Now you can always try it out. And that's perfect. Just what I wanted. Okay. So now I'm going to take this color and I'm going to paint a little bit in the ear. You don't have to cover the whole ear because you can go over it with the dark color, but you don't have to make it exactly perfect either. And then go ahead and paint the rest of the face area. Make sure you don't go over the line of where the bow is because the bow is going to be light colored. And you'll be able to see it if you did go over the lines. So try not to if you can help it. So paint around the bow. Use whatever size brush works best for you. I don't have a real small one, but I don't have a real big one either. I kind of have a medium sized one. All right. And then be careful. Well, you don't have to be careful so much going around the edge here because you're going to cover it up with the dark brown after so it doesn't matter so much if you go over the lines in that spot especially where the bow is Okay, you see how it looks darker on the canvas than it did on the paper plate. The paper plate looked a lot lighter. Get that further up stuff off of it. Okay, so just go ahead. You can take your time. I'm just kind of hurrying for the camera. And then don't forget to do this middle part as well. Because that also is supposed to be the light color. Okay, so just like that. So now when you're all done with that, I'm going to take the bigger brush now and get it wet. And we're going to make the background color, which is going to be a lighter green than what you have. So I'm going to mix a big glob of yellow with some green 
And the same thing, add a little bit of green at a time, at the time, a little bit at a time, till you get the background color you like. Because remember, you can't take it away once you put it in there. So find a yellowy green that you like. You can also try it out on here. That's a little bit too pale, so I'm going to add a little bit more green. We don't want it just straight green because we're going to put a vine with leaves on the top of it, which are going to be regular green. With nothing added, so... Okay, so now go ahead and cover the whole background. You do not have to worry about how neat it is. It looks better actually if it's kind of all over because it's just supposed to be the background. Make it look like he's out in a jungle or something where there's a lot of trees. Go ahead and paint the entire background. Green. If you go over the line that they're where the monkey is, not so much a problem because the brown probably will hide it. So kind of just Make it kind of all over the place when you paint. Don't just make it a straight line. I'm turn this around so I can reach it better. I'm going to go over here now. Watch out for his little parts of his fur standing up on his head and you might want to switch to a smaller brush when you're painting around the tail I'm going to do it a little messier than you, just so I can hurry up. Okay. I'll just try to get the extra paint off of the brush. So I can switch to the smaller brush. Okay, I'm going to switch to the smaller brush now. get a little trickier to paint in between this tail. So you probably want to switch to a smaller brush as well. There we go. them one more time.
Okay, mine is done with the tail. And now let me turn this around. All right. Now while the background is drying a little bit, I am gonna go ahead and paint his bow tie. I gave you just the five colors, so I figured you could just use the yellow for the bow tie. If you have another color at home from a previous painting and you wanna make your bow tie a different color, go right ahead, it's up to you. I'm gonna do mine in yellow. Do you what color you want yours if you have different color paint at home? Okay. So now we are going to take just our brown we are going to paint the rest of the monkey's head. The part that are all left white right now is the part we are going to paint brown. Remember, if you need to stop to get caught up, just pause the video whenever you want. You can restart it when you're ready. See, with the dark brown, if you accidentally went over the lines at all with the green, the dark brown will hide it. And the same thing, of course, with the light brown. If you accidentally went over. Now, when you do the ears, just kind of leave, uh, it doesn't have to be exactly round, but just leave some of the light brown right in the middle. There's no exact amount of how much. Oops, I got some green on there. Get that off. But just the center area. It didn't have to be exactly round or anything, which is why I didn't draw the line for it. This is kind of you guessing. Now this side, I'm going to turn this so I can reach it better. It's up to you, like I said, how much of that light brown is around the ear. Forget to do the entire tail. Like I said, any part that was still white on the canvas is going to be the monkey part that's left. And if you need 
to make the tail a little wider if you want to. You can, because it is kind of skinny down here. But when I trace them, sometimes it's hard to follow the shape all the time. And sometimes it shifts a little bit. But the dark brown will hide the green. So if you needed to make it a little wider, you can go over it. And it'll hide where the green is. Because the brown is so dark in color. All right, so now that he is all finished with all of his colors, we need a little bit of this brown because we're going to put it in his ears. See how he's got a little swirly in each of his ears? That's just to give him a little bit of pattern. So just kind of look for a skinny brush to kind of do it with. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It looks a little better if it's messy. There we go. Just a nice pattern to add. All right, then need to take a little bit of black and the skinny brush again and we need to make him some eyes and some eyelashes now sorry not eyelashes eyebrows if you looked at the sample picture the eyebrows are kind of like off to the side a little bit and the mouth and the nose is a little different so just kind of look at the sample picture or if you want your own pattern, you can do that too. It's your painting. You can do it how you like. You don't always have to follow me exactly. Sideways to make this one a little bit. Sometimes it's hard to get both of them to look the same. And then his nose was a little like crooked kind of line. So you can do your mouth how you want. Never good at mouths. Okay, so just like that, we're done with the black. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to the top. Oops, I've got some water on there. Oh, now I just got green all over me. All right, we're gonna make the green vine with the leaves at the top now. I'm gonna use the bigger brush. And I'm gonna use just plain green. And you can make how, 
yours how you want, but I'm going to make mine a little curvy on this one. Just make it about a half inch, quarter inch wide. It's up to you. You can make it skinnier if you want. It doesn't really matter. Just you need a vine. And then you need some leaves. You can make your leaves how big you want them. This one's bigger than my last one, but it's fine. I decided this time I wanted them bigger. make a vine and some leaves up at the top just like that nothing too fancy or anything but it just needed something up there all right so the next thing just about the last thing we're almost done here is we're going to take the white paint and instead of making the polka dots on the bow tie with the brush end, we're going to use the end, this end of the brush instead, so we could just make dots like that. So those were sticking up too high. It's up to you how many dots, and if you don't want dots, you can make another pattern, or you could just leave it blank. Kind of needs something though. Okay, and then we also need two dots for the eyes, which mine are going to be wet, so wait till your eyes are dry. You want a bigger dot for the bottom. Wipe this off, start over, and then you want a littler dot above it. No, littler than that, more like that size. Yep, that's much better. All right, and I think that is it. I think our monkey is done. You look him over real quick. Yep, he looks like he has finished. Don't forget to add your initial to him. And I will see you next week for our next painting, which is a ladybug with a shamrock. So thanks for coming. Bye.